Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess A. Chelsea, and welcome back to Corpse Party Book of Shadows. When we last left off, we jumped into this new chapter, Purgatory, where we are getting the backstory a bit of Naho Sayadoki, who is a very important character in the Corpse Party series. We're also getting to know her friend Sayaka, and the things leading up to basically both their inevitable deaths. So right now, I guess, uh, Naho found out that Kabiki, her beloved sensei, has gone off to Heavenly Host without her, with Taguchi, and she's obviously upset, but let's see what's happening with her friend for the moment. If you say so. Lest we also forget, she gave, uh... Naho gave Sayaka a radio interview with Sachiko in the corner being all creepy. Seems kind of odd to feel heavy thinking about wearing your uniform, but who am I to judge? Maybe it's weighted clothing like Piccolo's. Who can see me? Sachiko, why'd you follow me from the radio station? You're supposed to be bothering Naho, not me. Give me a break. Bad enough he tried to kill the director. But he didn't die, surprisingly. Probably one of the few times we didn't actually have an actual casualty. Yeah, let's let's go with that, shall we? Mom, I told you to stay off of those soap operas. They make you all hormonal and upset. Jeez, you sound like you're dying out there. Oh, that's outside. Never mind, Ma. Go back to your soap operas. Yeah, let's let's just see. Oh, okay, it's Naho. She's having a panic attack outside my window. Naho, have you been watching the same soap operas my mom has? This is going well, isn't it? Oh boy. I guess I shall have to comfort her as her diligent best friend slash girlfriend to be, but not really. Naho chan? Whoa, calm down, girlfriend. What are you talking about? You didn't realize I have no idea what you're talking about, right? I'm a radio host, not a medium. Again, Sayaka's just probably thinking, like, what is wrong with my friend right now? I would have just slapped her across the face, but that's just me. Well, first I was born, and no, not that far. <laughs> yeah, I know. Poor Sayaka's just probably just sitting there like, Can we just get ice cream? I'm sure we could just talk this out. Well, everybody has feelings. Even creepy girls like Naho. I don't know, I would have invited her in for tea or something, but... Okay. Yeah. And outside your realm of imagination. You should have. But you didn't. Yeah, well, we need a good meat shield, right? Yeah. 
I don't know, you're asking a lot, girlfriend. Yeah, as soon as I heard the word curse, I would be like, Naha, you're my best friend and all, um, but honestly, I think you're better off finding a different guy. I'm sorry, but risking my life for a cursed area for this guy? No. There's plenty of fish in the sea. This, this just seems like a wild goose chase. You could probably find better guys on Tinder. Just saying. Yeah, you always need at least two people for the ritual. The only person I can count on. Yeah, put your friend in great danger for a guy. That's a great, you know, great idea there. I mean, really, you couldn't find some idiot fanboy who's like, I will do it for you. Then you wouldn't feel as bad getting rid of them. At least then, if they die, you'd probably not be as, you know, guilt-ridden. Please don't say cat to my master. That is just disturbing as all hell. Yeah, that damn promise I gave you in the, for the radio interview. Damn it, I knew this is why I shouldn't make promises. No, seriously, I would s No, you're, you're... You're being stupid. You're being very stupid now, Sayaka. I'd walk away. But... You're a better person than I am in that way. Maybe a bit more naive. But then again, in this in corpse party, basically everybody has their common sense glands removed. <laughs> Famous last words. Well. <laughs> she is a way better friend than you deserve, Naho. Just saying. Yeah, I know. You're the Seiko to her, Naomi. Go on. Yes, while you're at it, let's prepare properly. Get some water, uh, get food, uh, flashlights, um, underwear, uh, something for self-defense, maybe some spiritual charms of some kind. Okay, that's just being silly. And she just brushes that off. Amazing. What are you doing, Naho? What? What? ブログを更新しておこう。新しいエントリー。友達との絆を一生のものに。新しいお間違いをご紹介。いや。<笑> Yeah, and that is part of the reason why I don't like Naho. All this sending innocent kids, including the nine protagonists, to their deaths by writing the wrong information about the Sachiko Ever After charm basically for her stupid sensei. Screw you, Naho, and everything you stand for. 
頑張ってるわね<笑>はい忙しい時こそ栄養補給脳に糖分を入れなさい Blood sugar drop. Does she have diabetes? Interesting. Well, at least you have at least some bit of food with you on this journey. I still say you should have brought a backpack full of a huge mess of supplies. Probably. Famous last words. You'll probably never remember me anyway. Bye! Here we go. Now remember, it's always supposed to be one for each person involved in the ritual and one for Sachiko. So they should have done it three times and nothing would have happened. But in this case, they said it twice, so which means. To hell we go! And whatever you do, don't lose that scrap. Woo woo! Up aboard the death train! First stop, Heavenly Host, Population Murder! Close enough. And then I died. The end. No. We have to figure out how she died first. Because I believe in the actual. Uh, the first corpse party PSP game. You do find her tag, but I think it's said that she died through to being absorbed by the darkening, but I guess we're gonna see if that's true or not. Equivalent of hell, basically. Welcome to Heavenly Host. Enjoy your stay, because it's gonna be fun and torturous for a very long time. Pretty much all of eternity. You're damned here forever. Oh, I'm gonna protect you, all right. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Yeah, okay. I'm afraid it is, my dear. You're doomed for all eternity. Boy, you just lost your sanity right before anything even happened, did ya? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't think you two ever see each other again. Or if she did, she didn't care. Really, her focus was on Kibiki. Well, here I am. Oh, this place is lovely. I'm so happy I'm here. This is absolutely fan freaking tastic. Oh, goody. <sighs> Nothing of interest to collect here, so I guess I'm just gonna move out into the hallway and see where it goes. What now? What about the wall? Oh, that's not good. I'd step back. I would say so, yes. Nope, unless you're a ghost. 
<laughs> or a mole, you're not getting through. Let's get it. <laughs> Mommy can't hear you now. She probably doesn't even remember you exist now. Yep, path is completely blocked block with rubble. No way through. Well, damn it. I'm just gonna have to move forward. I think I already came out of the storage house, storehouse, so let's just keep going. See if we can find anything of use. Well, that's already a good start. I can't even really look around here. So, okay, moving up to the next area. Huh? Singing. No, because I can hear it too. I can even see the translation on the side here. Which if you can't see because it's, uh, it's being covered up by my webcam. Kagome, Kagome, bird in the basket. When, oh when, will you come out? When will it be in the evening of dawn? The crane and the turtle have fallen, so who is it that stands behind me? Okay, so... That's a good start. How about I check another hallway? Just see if there's anything else. Nope, it's not down this hallway. It's just blocked off. Okay, so... I'm gonna keep moving forward. We're gonna keep searching. Maybe we'll get lucky and find Naho before we die. But I seriously doubt it. Okay, there's nothing in this hallway. And I'm... Yeah, we are definitely in the bomb shelter, which is basically the last area of the first game. Oh. Yeah, this place definitely has faulty wiring, not gonna lie. But again, what can you do in a bomb shelter? I don't know, is there? I hope not. Oh, good. I was so happy to see you. Now again, remember, what's the big rule about spirits in Corpse Party? The blue spirits are benevolent. The red spirits are malevolent. What color is this one, children? That's right, it's red. This is not a nice spirit. <laughs> Am I dead now? I'm somehow alive from that. I don't know how. I guess I just lucked out. Although I bet you that did a number on my... Yep, I'm a little bit on the darkening side. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Just pray that something happens that doesn't kill me right off the bat. Oh good, the door is firmly shut. Nope, I can't go into the boys' bathroom. Aw, oh, darn. I wanted to see if that ghost in the toilet was there. Oh well, maybe there's someone in the girls' bathroom. Yuka, are you in there? You take so freaking long with your peeing problem. <laughs> No matter how I looked at it, nothing about this place seemed like an elementary school in any way. It's a bomb shelter, what do you expect? But there were lights on the ceiling and support beams to prevent cave so it certainly wasn't a naturally formed cavern either. I mean, there was even indoor plumbing down here. Probably not good indoor plumbing, I bet you it's all stocked up. Um, excuse me? Oh, you're a pretty little princess, aren't you? I'm sorry, but in this situation, if you really have to pee, you're just gonna have to make do. But, whatever. Oh, look, it's a little body over here. Yep, that's those are skeletal remains. And yeah, I should also mention that I actually did play through this area prior to this recording, but my power went out and I lost all the footage, so we're going through and checking everything again. I can hear the voices of children who seem to be in pain or distress. Lovely. And there's a the dog's barking. Also, for those of you who can't read, the kids yelling. They're saying, why, why, save me, help me, please, it hurts, please stop. Alright, moving forward. 
I don't want to hear you crying in pain and anguish anymore, dear. So, I'm just going to move forward. Oh, look! It's another body. Yep, it's half decomposed. Meanwhile, let's keep moving forward. Maybe we could go in the death room, everybody! Doesn't that sound like fun? Oh, it's thoroughly sealed. No way to get inside. Ah, no death room for me, then. Alright. I guess I'll just move forward, then. Man, I really want to go in the death room. I want to see all the death. If it was actually death, or if it was just lying to me. I don't know. Oh, good! I can hear children calling for me. Hiding and goading me to find them. Oh, boy! We're playing hide-and-seek! Which, again, I'll read for you. Let's play. Come and get me. I'm over here. I'm over here. No, I'm over here. No, I'm over here. No, I'm over here. Great. That was fun. How about instead we play baseball so that way I could go home? Because I'd like to play Get the Hell Out of Heavenly Host. But that ain't happening anytime soon. Oh, look, there's another body. That's a nice body. It's recently decomposed, too. Even better. Anything on this side? No. Oh, good! I can hear the voices of children playing! Which, now they're singing, Are you ready yet? Not yet. Are you ready yet? Not yet. So, this is going well. Let's keep going, everybody! Naho, where are you? Uh, I'm fairly certain this is going to keep continuing as long as I am in here, aren't I? Okay, now what it's saying is, you may proceed, you may proceed. What narrow path is this? It is the path of the heavenly host. So, yeah. This place definitely loves us, doesn't it? Nothing down this hallway. But let's keep exploring, shall we? Oh good, I can hear children laughing. Among the voices, I heard the sound of a door opening somewhere nearby. Stop mocking me! I'm gonna go down this hallway just to shut you up. Blech. Creepy ghost children. What do they think they're doing? Oh, look, we got another dead body. Yay, it's a dead body. Oh, that's a great dead body. And there's another one. Boy, just, just collecting everything around here, huh? Alright, well, let's go further up, because it looks like the death room's actually open now. Oh boy, I'm so happy that's open now. Aw, but the blood pool, body pool, whatever pool it is, that's closed. Dang it, I wanna go swimming. Not really, but... Hey, they didn't even give me the option. Oh, yeah, well, that's an interesting way to die. It's a recently deceased one, too. Alright, enough fooling around. Let's go in the death room, everybody. Oh boy, what's in the death room? Let's go see. 